And Dr. Showers, I want to come to you first, all right? A lot of people have heard about Christ's second coming to earth, but not all of them realize that the Bible teaches that when Christ comes, he first intends to rapture or snatch away Christians from the earth. Mm -hmm. This will be followed by the tribulation, and then Christ is coming back to earth to judge, rule, and reign. Now, people want to know, how do we know these things? And a lot of prophecy conversations that are on television, people never quote the verses. What I've got you guys here to do today is to present what God says in the Word. It'll speak for itself. Mm -hmm. And in terms of the rapture, defining what it is, there are three, four major passages. We're going to take them in order, okay? But we're going to start with just 1 Corinthians 15, 51, 52. And folks, I'm going to put this up on the screen, so here it is. The Apostle Paul tells us in this passage, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. All right, Rennie, what are the four things in this verse the Apostle Paul is teaching us. He first of all starts off with, I'm going to show you a mystery. What is a mystery in the Greek language? It's referring to something that has never been told before to, to mankind. It's a whole new revelation uh, from God. Uh, first to the Apostle Paul, and he passes it on to the believers that, to whom he is addressing this. And what he's saying is, uh, it's something new. Now, it wasn't about resurrection from the dead because even the Old Testament indicated that people would be resurrected from the dead. Daniel chapter 12 indicates that. Uh, Abraham believed when God told him to sacrifice his son Isaac that uh, God would resurrect him from the dead uh, as well. And so uh, that was not what was, was dealing with here at all. But what it's saying is that the, the new thing that's being revealed here uh, is the fact that not all Christians will die. There's going to be a time when Christians who are alive on the earth, uh, they will escape death altogether because it's going to be an event that the Bible calls the rapture uh, of the church. And it mentions that, uh, this, that not all people, not all Christians are going to experience death, but all uh, Christians will be changed. They'll be transformed uh, from a, a mortal human a body which can uh, die, etc., to one which will never die again. Yeah, I love his words. Got to be we shall not all sleep. And I always tell people, look, if we got a chance of, of getting cancer or dying of some disease and then going to heaven, or Jesus comes and we're out of here, which one would you choose? And right. they all say, I'd like the out of here one. Mm -hmm. 